Now, Sri Lanka's protests have continued unabated for the past two weeks or more, and so far no solution seems to be on the way. With talks having been rejected by protesters, it's anyone's guess as to how this crisis will be handled. With us tonight is Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna parliamentarian Suren Raghavan to help us understand what the next steps will be. Um, a very warm welcome to you. Uh, you parliamentarian, I think um, now there have been calls for a national government. Mm. but there doesn't seem any positive response from your opposition parties mm. but at the same time the JVP led NPP wants to give a political identity or leadership uh, to the mass citizens protests mm. while the SGA calls for um, a change of the executive um, Talks are inconclusive between the government and other uh, parties, be it independent, your same parliamentarians. Mm. Where are we heading in terms of parliament? Uh, yeah, I, th I think as a political scientist, uh, it's a very interesting uh, phenomenon that is uh, unfolding in Sri Lanka. But as a citizen, first of all, I'm very concerned and sad that the dialogical democracy has been um, not given priority. Uh, for instance, we were writing to president for last one and a half years, and then when we became independent, we were very clear with the president, the 10 points that we presented to him and to prime minister, and then we went on arguing, saying that this economic crisis has now moved to socio-political arena. So economic crisis, we need $10 billion, ideally, but $5 billion at least. Mm -hmm. but to do that, we need a stable government, we need a stable society, even IMF to consider us as a recipient. But President and Prime Minister and the governmental thinking had been more governmental than state-oriented. Because the government is a caretaker of a state of a country. Now, this government is also is a caretaker of the state of Sri Lanka. So therefore, when it comes to these crises, we must put party aside, politics aside, and look into Sri, Sri Lanka's direction. But Unfortunately, very unfortunately, President and Prime Minister have been taking intransigent positions, even sometimes uh, disgracing our own dialogue by appointing, I mean, politicians are always power hungry, right? And they can go and switch camps, but it is up to the President who uh, sworn in uh, one of our members as a Deputy uh, Minister um, the, while we were talking to him. And I think that was a backstab totally unacceptable to us. So we have very clearly told that we will stop, we will hold all the discussions. Though we, are, we believe in dialogical democracy but and the way you, forward. are you washing your hands off this? No, no, because definitely not. you have been a part of this government. Yes, yes. And, and, I, I and just, to, just, just a couple of days when, when, when people walk to the streets um, expressing their opposition to the entirety of uh, the Podujana Peramuna led government, mm. you decide to be independent. But mm -hmm. are, you, are you considering this as a responsible move uh, when Sri Lanka is facing I think the worst uh, the economic uh, crisis? There is front line and uh, behind the curtain situations in politics. Behind the curtain last one and a half years. Personally, I, before even Gotabia Rajapaksa president took the office, when I was governor of the Northern Province, met him a number of times and told him his victory is assured because of political current was that. But what he has to deal with is the economy. And economic crisis will be, this is before, well before Corona, and I'm no economist in any sense, right? But my political reading was that, that Sri Lanka was heading for a, so last time when we met, and I, I think I met President and Prime, Prime President particularly last five, six days, about four, five times on, on our discussions. But last time, surprisingly, President told that until the last day that P.B. Jasundara was leaving, he wasn't aware the full scale situation of Sri Lankan economy. And that, I think, is eye-opener, and I, I wouldn't accept that at all. Uh, no. Minister Ali Sabri has been appointed to uh, yes. oversee finances. Yeah. A new central bank governor, uh, As former Nandal deputy Dr. governor, Nandal uh, Dr. Nandalal Veerasinghe is appointed, yeah. and IMF spring meetings are happening. We, we, Not we, happening uh, we will be <laughs> happening. Uh, we have the finance minister preparing our program to go yeah. to the IMF. 11th we were to have, but it postponed again. Yes, but don't you see that finally they are in the right move? But shouldn't the independent group be a part of this entire uh, yes, we are willing. We absolutely, process? we are willing. 
this is the direction to go. But one and a half years ago, we've been telling government for its own, PB Jasandara, Article, Cabral, you name them. The entire team, according to what President says now, were telling not to go to IMF. And there are other repercussions going to IMF. So today we are in the fourth category of IMF class, classing states. So now our the negotiations will be but definitely what are you, difficult. what are you telling so the government we have been to do telling, now? We have been telling the economic crisis is an internal, external factor. But the political and social and parliamentary crisis is an internal, internal factor. We can solve that inside. The president wanted to uh, sack the cabinet or resign the cabinet. That happened immediately. And he appointed four more ministers. That can happen. That happened immediately. So why doesn't the government think that there is a political crisis right now and they must sit down and negotiate and honestly discuss and have a stable government before we go into IMF even? What With is, whom? What, what, what's the face of the stable government that you're talking about? We have said interim government is the first step. Because the SJB's position of impeaching the president is a long drawn process. It's constitutional, it's legal, Supreme Court, Speaker, and all of them are involved. What we are suggesting is let's have an interim government. A national Act government, does that mean? Okay, there are two definitions of national government and interim okay. government. Interim government is one that will be transit to the next position, mm -hmm. national government with all, all the parties. So, so, does that interim government, are you expecting uh, part if all parties to? Uh, all parties to come, ideally. If Pujjana Perumana does not want to be part of it. Prime Minister can resign, step down, and 113 votes for any member who is in the parliament can form. And this is what our line had been. I respect Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa for what he had done to this country. In fact, I was on a research paper about his life and political career, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But he had been four, three times president, uh, two times president, four times prime minister. He, as a leader, can take this discussion to a different direction, a positive direction. But we don't see that. Mm -hmm. We don't see that. So wh what we are saying now is that please don't throw this final straw that we have about coming together. An interim government until next election mm -hmm. can put ourselves up in the parliament and society. But will this help this political crisis and economic crisis? It's yeah, but that's that. what I'm saying. The political crisis is a, um, is a baby of the economic crisis, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If we had electricity, if we had fuel, if we had medicine, if we had gas, people wouldn't have come to street. Right? It, it would have been kind of an intellectual, academic mm -hmm. discussion of change in the government. Mm -hmm. But people came out actually when the hard message came to their home, a hard message hit their kitchens, hard message hit their bedrooms without ACs, then people came, I mean the present, present crisis. But don't forget, last one and a half years, the peripheral farmers have been protesting about the fertilizer crisis that we had, the infection crisis we had, the, the change of um, the fa facilities that the farmers were not getting. But we, we didn't hear that. We didn't, the suburban middle class did not hear or decided to ignore that until hard, li hard uh, darkness came to their home. Uh, we see this as also a manifestation of inconsistent policies over years and decades. Yes. But now is there a political will uh, from your observation of parliament to finally yes. Uh, yes. address this yes. situation, yes. to come together Absolutely. Because we see the government in one direction, the main opposition talking about uh, something Impeach else, and <laughs> then and then uh, the the northern uh, parties in a different direction. At least they are silent, and I don't know what they're saying. Even their voice is not heard. At yes, this point. but is there but I think finally uh, a political by, will? Because be fair by them, since you talked about northern parties, if people are rejecting all 225. Well, that that's kind of an anarchy state, and an I I don't think as a, as a democracy we should go yes there is a political trust br breaking people do not want to see any people want results not just the institutional talk shops uh, our parliament even last four days of the debate if you look at our parliament's debates did not take us to to solutions but it was blaming each other so right now 21st century's politics are politics of the generation z this hashtag ghg need to be heard of and the, the voice of the street is only a symbol of the deep down crisis that we have. So I really pray, right now that's all we can do, I, it seems to be, that government will change heart and Prime Minister, our President, will make a sacrifice and leave room for an interim government so that Parliament can be stable and then we can go to our lenders saying, right, now we have at least a government, let us talk. I think people expect you parliamentarians as well uh, to, to push the government we and are, the opposition we are 24 to hours. come together. I just came from a meeting and I'm going for a meeting. We have had so many meetings and thank you so much for having this weave. I uh, appeal to all our 
concerned citizens that push the government for a win-win situation, which is an interim government until we are stable and we get our basics done and then we can talk about politics.